This is an example of our Judge Dredd test machine with the Mission Pinball Framework running with a P-Rock installed. So there's the, it's a classic P-Rock, but I'm using all the traditional Williams driver boards. These are actually rotten dog replacements, but it's the same idea. So uh, that's connected via this cable to this computer. You see in my config file, I have the platform set to P-Rock, driver board set to WPC. We go ahead and start the game here. And the game is starting up, so now it's running. Um, you see I've got the, the GI came on, the uh, attract mode, light show, that it's just a quick show we kind of threw together. Uh, I can hit start and I launch my ball. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, wow, it's actually very hard to play with, uh, with, with holding the camera. So I'll just do um, some things here. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, this is set to one ball per game, so when the ball drains, then it goes back to attract mode. So that is this running on a P-Rock. And here is our Judge Dredd sample machine for Mission Pinball Framework, now with a fast controller in it. So again, we've got the same driver boards, the WPC uh, traditional driver boards is connected via this USB cable to uh, this computer. So I can run that there. Um, by the way, if I look in the configuration file, so you see I've just changed hardware platform to fast, driver board still says WPC. Uh, there's also that extra configuration option to give it the port and the baud rate and the number format I'm going to use for fast. Uh, but you see here is the, uh, let me focus on that, focus, there we go. So there's our tracks mode running, GI lights are on, I can hit start. Game starts, launch ball. Uh, again, I'll do like the one-handed playing kind of thing. And I'll let it drain. And again, it's a one ball per game, so it goes back into the tracks mode. So you see that, you know, the Mission Pinball Framework abstracts all the hardware from you. Uh, it literally took me three minutes to take out the P-Rock and put the fast in, or to take the fast board out and put the P-Rock back in. All the code is the same. All the config files are the same. Uh, the only thing that changes is you just change that one entry from P-Rock to fast, and you are all set and ready to go. So that's one of the cool things about uh, platform abstraction in the Mission Pinball Framework.